The cardinal objective of the Harkesa Water Agency is to supply drinkable and portable water to the increasing population of the Harkesa city. The agency, poised with its core value, recently carried out an assessment on the quality of the water being supplied to the public, even by the commercial tankers for quality control. To meet up with the need of the populace, many projects are being embarked upon to increase water production and transmission. These projects are bankrolling by the EU, Somaliland Development Fund, United Nations Habitats and the Somaliland Government. For quality assurance and a commitment to the utilization of the available fund, the European Union paid an assessment visit to the ongoing water project monitored by the agency. The grand arrival of the European Union ambassador to Somalia, Nicolas Palanga, and his entourage to the agency signal the commencement of the assessment tour. On ground to receive the envoy was the Director General of Hargeisa Water Agency, Ali Darud, alongside Minister of Planning and Somaliland Minister of Water, Mohamed Diriye. Welcoming the envoy, the Minister of Planning, Hassan Mohamed Ali Kafadi, explained that a good part of the ongoing projects is done. I will thank you very much for your contribution, uh, Mr. Ambassador Nicholas Perlanga, not only for the uh, current uh, title as the EU Ambassador, but also in a different title a number of years ago that we have been here in Somalia. And I commend that you, are, you still continue uh, this kind of work that you started in the early 90s and, and I hopefully that you will include in the Friends of Somaliland and this will not be the last time that you are in, in, in Somaliland after you finish your career but also you, I hopefully uh, believe that you will be coming back and, and see how things go after you. Thank you very much uh, for everything. Thank you very much for your contributions. A summary of the Hargeisa Water Project was presented by the Director General of the Hargeisa Water Agency, Ali Darud, who took time to break down the level of the success of the project with an emphasis on the Hargeisa Urban Water Supply Upgrading Project, USWAP, which accordingly has scored a significant percentage in terms of completion stressing that 8 out of the total 12 shipments had 67% with EM equipment and materials on ground. Uh, basically, you know, Hargeisa is, uh, is, is a city that's growing, you know, rapidly. You know, the exodus of the, from rural areas or from other towns to Hargeisa or the diaspora coming back is like, it's like big, actually. Uh, what we are targeting is that by the first stage of the completion of the project, we will have a 50% increase of the amount of water that we produce at the moment. What we expect is to cover some important parts of the town, actually, yes. That's what we are looking forward to. The Hargis Water, but it's one project. But you go inside, it's like a number of different projects supported by a number of development partners. So basically, they have different timelines. But what we expect is that most activities to be concluded by the by the end and this, by the end of the year and by the start of the next year, actually, of course, COVID-19 was a, was a challenge, of course. And uh, one of the challenges we have had recently is the pandemic, the COVID-19, which affected most, uh, you know, countries which we which we are getting supplies from, actually. And the other challenge we have had, of course, is the you know, this is not financed by just one partner. It's financed by a number of development partners. They have their own timelines, of course, and their own policies, of course. And we didn't have all the funding that we required at one time. So, like, you have had the, you know, Gay Develop Project, which started a while ago, and you have had the distribution project within the city of Gaza. The Director General highlighted the immense contribution of the European Union towards the progress of the project. Ali Darud, however, expressed on behalf of the agency a heartfelt delight for the unflinching support and contribution of the EU towards making available basic amenities such as water to the people. Uh, the European Union delegation uh, to Somalia and Somalia have been you know, a very uh, important partner. They started the project. They contributed massive resources to the water project. 
it's because of the finances that we received from the EU project which helped us you know start this project that we were able to attract investment from other countries like the EU, like the German government Coca-Cola Africa Foundation of course from Cola company and we appreciate the efforts the donation the you know the funding that we received from the European Union of course our European partners have been you know very committed to making sure that they that they, you know, move the project forward. You know, they have been pushing, you know, companies with us, of course, in getting more progress. And actually, Mr. B uh, Ambassador Nicholas Belanga himself, you know, visited the project a number of times. You know, listening to the reports of the project, have had a number of meetings with us. I requested to all our, to all our, you know, uh, demands that we push, you know, the contractors further, you know, you know, for the goal of attaining, you know, more progress. Of course, absolutely. The agency afterward showed the ambassador and his team the Harkesa Water Quality Control Laboratory as the assessment tour kick-started. We are specialized in analysis of water, testing water, and uh, wastewater, seawater. Somali people in general and Somali people in particular, we are a global nation. The team made an on-the-spot assessment of the ongoing project of the Hargeza Reservoir D site with the project manager on hand to take them round. In his words, the project manager, Zedin Kements, assured the team of the quality and standard promising to complete the project in months to come. The value of this project is approximately uh, 16.7 million euros. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, the main contractor. Uh, it's donated by KFW donation from the Germany and the consultants are uh, CES engineering from Germany as well. And the client is uh, Hargeisa Water Agency. So basically the project uh, start on the December 2018 and the targeted uh, completion is uh, November 2021. But uh, we need to mention that uh, we face uh, several problems during the execution. Uh, all of us know about the COVID problems which uh, basically restrict uh, uh, execution of the works, uh, the manpower bringing from abroad and uh, even uh, the supply chain was quite cut off. Uh, the fabrication from China was not operational for quite a long time. Uh, we somehow overcome that, uh, but uh, we expecting to complete the project on a time. The team finally visited the ongoing water project at the Gid W Pumping project were almost completed with a view to ensuring the capacity to serve a larger population when it becomes operational. The EU ambassador, Nicholas Balanga, who spoke to the media after the exercise, expressed satisfaction at the success of the water project, pledging the union continued support to the completion of the project. He lauded the Hargeisa Water Agency for a job well done and commended the Somaliland government for supporting such feats. The European Union um, made a difficult decision almost nine years ago to invest in this project because at that moment institutions were not so uh, strong as they are now and in particular the uh, Somaliland Water Agency was uh, about to be created and be uh, built on. We uh, decided to work with, uh, of course, with the authorities and with uh, UN Habitat to launch this project. The project has had some difficulties to overcome. We are now uh, at the end of, uh, of the journey and we see the results not only in practical terms with all this uh, infrastructure that is about to be uh, completed, but also we see the ownership that the water agency, the uh, municipality and the, ministry, and the Ministry of Planning, the Ministry of Water have taken over the years. Nicholas Balanga said EU is ready to ensure that clean water is distributed to the public, adding that the fund is an investment of public money. 
I'm very happy for uh, two main reasons. The first one is to see this intergovernmental cooperation, to have the opportunity to share this visit with the Minister of Planning and the, the local, uh, the Mayor of Argeza. That's very important because, and that goes to the main point, it is we are working in something that gives services to the citizens. The citizens of Argeza are waiting for this uh, project to be finalized, to start being operational, to receive water. We are not talking about politics, we are not talking about big issues, we are talking about being able to get access to water every day at a reasonable price. And we are investing public money from the Somaliland citizens and we are investing public money from the European citizens for that. And we hope also that the continuation when this project will become operational. Again, the, the issue of uh, facilitating the access to the citizen to the water is uh, taken into consideration. Grace and Yon Yintono, UN Habitats, appreciated the collaborative effort of the EU on the water project. The history of water is as old as mankind. And for us in uh, Hargeisa for to be able to appreciate the importance of this project, I just want to pick a few statistics that may be useful. During the day in Hargeisa, we have an estimate of between 600,000, maybe to a million people. And if each person needs 30 liters uh, to drink, shower and use in the toilet, that gives us an estimate of between 1.8 to 3 million liters of water per day. So the importance of clean, safe water that this project is going to contribute cannot be overemphasized. The other issue that we want to talk about is that is just about the human being. But there is construction that is going on every day that we need water for. Um, so the importance of this project cannot be, uh, as I've said before, cannot be overemphasized. But we would want also to point out that this journey started with the European Union, but the government of Somaliland has also enhanced their ownership by, uh, to date, they've contributed more than a million dollars. And we've also been able to attract other donors, uh, especially from Europe, that are making the dream of water within Hargeisa a reality. The Hargeza Mayor Abdul Karim Moge, among other speakers at the event, register his unreserved appreciation to the EU on the water project to the Somaliland. Indeed, this project has a great value for the community and the public because it will provide water to the people of Argeisa. We think this may not cover as much as we are expecting, but the truth is that we will play a role in reducing water scarcity in Argeisa.